the purpose of this video is to write the equation of a parabola by only looking at the vertex or the turning point. Okay, so I have what I've done is you can see many parabolas here. So this is a basic parabola y is equal to x squared. So I plotted some points to show that it is y is equal to x squared. So when x is 0, y is 0, so that's 0, 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 9. Same way as a parabola is symmetrical, a basic parabola is symmetrical over y-axis. So y-axis is the axis of symmetry. So these two are uh, mirror images of each other, where this is the mirror line. So this is minus 1, 1, minus 2, 4, minus 3, 9. Okay. Now this, all parabolas that you can see here, are transformation of this basic parabola. So what we want to do is that uh, by only looking, if suppose this and this are the same, and this is a transformation of this, we should be able to write the equation of this parabola. That's what we are intending to do. And this has gone, this and this are the same. Now, to just to show you that they are the same parabola, so I will highlight this and I will show that they are the same parabola. So this is, say, hopefully I can do it. Oops. Uh, this is not what I wanted. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is, I've highlighted this. I'm going to move this uh, and bring it over this to just to show you that they are the same parabola. I copied and pasted. Okay. So this is brought back. Okay. So let me see. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, I can't uh, highlight this because it is under a graph. So yeah, when you write in the equation of a parabola, you uh, one way of doing is uh, first you have to decide whether this is uh, this has a stretch factor or not. So I'm not going to the stretch factor. So uh, let us understand that these two are the same parabola, but the only difference is. Uh, each point, if you look at each point, let's only look at the vertex. Okay, so this is the vertex or the turning point. And here, this is the turning point. So in the basic parabola, the turning point is 0, 0. And here, this, this is a transformed parabola. And now this has a vertex of, this is negative 6, comma, and this is 4. So negative 6, 4 is the vertex of the new parabola. So I can say, by only looking at the vertex, this parabola has moved 6 to the left and has gone 4 up. Okay, so if in the same way, if you look at this point, this, this has gone 6 to the left and 4 up. Each point, if you look, if you match it, I don't have the time, you can, this is a 2, 4. This, two, this point has transformed here. This, this point has transformed or translated here. Yeah. So this is a translation or a transformation of 6 to the left and 4 up. Each point has been translated. So to write the equation of this parabola, by just looking at the vertex, I can say y is, uh, is it has moved 6 to the left, so you write x plus 6 squared plus 4. Now you may think, how did I write plus 6 here? So in a basic parabola, in y is equal to x squared, what's the vertex? The vertex is 0, 0. So that means the x coordinate is 0. So when would this become, if suppose the vertex is negative 6, which value of x would make this 0? So well, you can say minus 6 plus 6 will give you 0. So because this is minus 6, you have to write x plus 6 squared. And as it has gone 4 up, so this is telling you the, this will tell you the uh, vertical shift. Okay, so this has gone up and this has gone, uh, this plus 6 tells me this has gone 6 to the left. Okay, so this is an indication or an a expression of how to write. Now, to confirm uh, whether this equation is right, let us uh, use the calculator. Okay, uh, without the calculator, suppose 
from this parabola, I can say when x is negative 8, y is 8. So let us do without the calculator. If x is negative 8, y should be plus 8. So let me use it without the calculator. So I am saying when x is 8, y seems to be 8. So does that work here? So let me put x in this equation. So y, sorry, when x is negative 8, sorry. When x is negative 8, y is 8. So in place of x, I can put negative 8. So this is minus 8 plus 6 squared plus 4. So this is negative 2 squared plus 4, which is 4 plus 4, which is 8. It, it's confirmed. Now to you can do this faster on a calculator. So let me get the calculator out. Oops. So go to your graph menu. Okay, and type in bracket x plus 6 squared plus 4, just like that. And just confirm, so graph it. Oh, my scale is not good. I just make a standard. Suppose this is my scale, okay, and then graph it. So this is a parabola. So let me confirm the vertex. We go GSOL and minima. So minus 6, 4, that's confirmed. Let's confirm one more point. When x is negative 8, y is 8. So we go GSOL, uh, y calc, when x is negative 8. When x is negative 8, y is 8. Okay, so let us confirm one more point. When x is negative 4, y is 8. Okay, so again GSOL, y calc, when x is negative 4, y is 8. So we have confirmed the equation. So this is perfect. So let us look at one more equation here. I would like you to do this yourself. Uh, you can pause this video for a while and then get back uh, to the video to listen uh, to the answer. So yeah, when you're looking at a word, this is again, I'm believing that this is a transformation of this. So what has happened to the vertex? I'm only look at the vertex. So the vertex has moved. So the new vertex, let us write the vertex. The new vertex is 7 comma negative 7. So your x value, x coordinate is 7 and your y coordinate is, sorry, your x coordinate is 7, yeah, and your y coordinate is negative 7. Okay, so here we can say the equation would be, it has moved, uh, so I'll write this in the brackets, so something squared minus 7. So this is very easy. Now this, in the bracket, it's a bit confusing at times to write plus or minus. It has moved to the right. So I'll start with x. Now to make this 0, x we know is 7. What should you write to make it 0? So we know x is 7. So it will be 7 minus 7 will give you 0. So I'll write 7 x minus 7 squared minus 7. Okay. And to confirm, this is one point that seems to be, this is 9 this is 9 comma negative 5. So just to confirm, so we'll confirm these two. We'll write this equation on a calculator and see whether it works. So exit, delete, and type in bracket x minus 7 squared minus 7. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, so this is the, so let us confirm the vertex. So GSOL and minima. 7 comma negative 7 that's fine so and then let me do one more when x is so when x is so g sol y calc when x is 9 what y uh, yes this was negative 3 yeah so this is good so this is negative 3 it's not negative 5 that's negative 3 okay can you see this is negative 3 so it's a good way to check when x is 9 and when x is 5, y is negative 3. So you can confirm that too. y calc when x is, this is 5, seems to be 5. So let's write, type in 5. When x is 5, y is negative 3. We'll, I'll do more examples of this in the next video.